It's a great shot on goal. It could be there. There it is. Wow. There it is. Great shot. Joyce the snap. Back to pass. Pressure coming. Unloads it. Caught at the 15 and into the end zone. Touchdown, Darian. Jay checks out. And a great look, great effort by Lindsey Bennett. Hey, trying to get an exit. Ariel there. there it is. Yes. yes. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this DAF Media Special. I am Damian Andrew. Well, it's that time of year again. There's a chill in the air. The days are shorter, and we are closing in on one of the most highly anticipated high school football games of the year here in the state of Connecticut, the annual Turkey Bowl between Darianne and New Canaan, or New Canaan and Darianne, depending on where your loyalties lie. It is a rivalry that dates back to the 1920s. This year's game will once again be played at his historic Boyle Stadium in Stamford. It is a special venue able to accommodate the thousands of fans expected to attend. Kickoff is 1030 in the morning on Thanksgiving Day. Darianne comes into the game undefeated on a 34 game winning streak. In fact, the last team to beat the Blue Wave was New Canaan back in the 2014 state playoffs. New Canaan, meanwhile, comes into this year's Turkey Bowl 7-2 with a spot in this year's state playoffs at stake. Now, for a number of Blue Wave seniors, this will be their final Turkey Bowl, a game that creates lifelong memories and one they've dreamed of playing in since they were little kids. I think this is the game because, you know, it's two great teams competing and uh, it's always been, it hasn't always been great teams, but this year it's uh, senior year and it's a really big deal. We're going for the six Pete. Don't want to be the team to break that and I don't, I don't think we will, so. I mean, it's, it's the Turkey Bowl. It's, uh, it's gotten so much hype. Obviously, they've had their success. We've had ours. Um, you know, we've went head to head, and those games have had uh, so much turmoil over the years. And um, you know, we've we've gotten such a good matchup out of them. And um, you know, it's the it's the Turkey Bowl. I think it says it for itself. Um, but. You know, we're excited, we're going in prepared, and uh, we know it's going to be an excellent game, it always is, so uh, we're excited for it. Well, I think the game's really transformed over the years. Um, uh, the, uh, we used to be kind of two mediocre teams just going at it, and I think both the programs have really developed, and we've had good youth programs, and our senior class and their senior class, we've kind of built up towards this game. and. Um, Especially uh, this team, we've been on we've been on the state championship winning team for the last three years, and I think we've just been waiting for this moment for for a while now. It definitely makes it so special just how close we are, towns, and just the rivalry, camaraderie between each other. And there's just I, I moved here in seventh grade, and ever since then, there's always been tension between the two towns. And you know, I kind of moved to Darien, so I got that side. And you know, the past years we've been lucky to be on Darien, but. It's just everybody that comes there makes it just big, and it's just a big deal to everyone around here. Well, we, we never want to look past the team, you know, even though they have two losses. We know anything could happen on this day, so we're going to do everything we can to prepare for it. All our guys have been watching hours and hours of film. We're not taking anything lightly. You know, last year we let up in the fourth quarter, and we don't plan on doing that this year. We'll keep the foot on the gas, so. You heard Drew Ivancic mention last year's game. Well, it was a classic. Darianne beat the Rams 37-34 in overtime at New Canaan's Dunning Field. An interception by Finley Collins in OT sealed the win for the Blue Wave. Darianne has now won the last five Turkey Bowl games against its border rival. Well, the Turkey Bowl not only features some of the top players in the state, it also features two of the state's most successful high school coaches, Darianne's Rob Trafoam and New Canaan Lou Marinelli. I recently had the chance to speak with both of them to find out why this Turkey Bowl game is so special. Coming from Brian McMahon, the Brian McMahon Norwalk rivalry was pretty intense. Um, and of course, those are schools that are in the same, you know, city. And here, when I came over here, I'm like, well, you know, how intense could it be? You know, they're across, you know, they're in another whole nother town. And, and when I first got here, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> um, you know what? I just think they're very similar 
very competitive commu communities. And the funny part about it is outside of this coming Thursday, those kids are friends, you know, and I see it all year long because we go to passing league and those kids kid around with each other and, you know, so they're normal high school kids, but they take this rivalry, you know, pretty serious. It's, it's uh, you know, uh, it's too bad. Had we known, I think had Darian and New Canaan known that it was going to be such a big rivalry, we, our stadiums both would have been bigger. <laughs> I mean, when you see it, uh, it's a shame that we had to turn away like 5,000 people last year that wanted to see it. Uh, and the fact, you know, like our, our back is against the wall. We've... Uh, We've lost two games that, uh, you know, we have nobody to blame but ourselves. And if we want to get in the playoffs, we're going to have to win. So it makes it, you know, special for us. And they're on a 30-something game win streak. So uh, they want to keep that going. So, I mean, you know, a lot at stake for both teams. So, you know, it, it'll make it even more special. Now, as I mentioned earlier, thousands of fans are expected to attend this year's Turkey Bowl. That includes former players. DAF Media's Brendan Ross recently caught up with a couple of ex-Blue Wave stars to talk about the biggest game on the calendar. Thanks, Damian. Alongside me is two former quarterbacks of the Darien Blue Wave. My left, Silas Wiper. On my right, Timmy Graham. Silas, let's start with you. You played for the Blue Wave 2013 season. You had one of your probably best seasons, numerous accolades, 5,024 yards. What did that season feel like to you? How, what are some of your greatest memories in that season? Yeah, I think, I mean, the greatest memory probably has to be the Turkey Bowl. Um, I think, you know, the pageantry that surrounds it, all the fans, your family comes back. Um, everyone from Buchanan and Darren are back in town for the holiday, and everyone's there Thanksgiving morning. Um, so that was just a you know, terrific memory. Um, I also think just four years removed now, uh, the things you remember the most are not necessarily the plays um, or specific moments in games, but rather just uh, the relationships you built, uh, the teammates that I still stay in touch with. Um, and I, I remember quite fondly my first few years out watching Timmy play, uh, play a lot better than I did, um, but just watching the young guys who you got to know uh, my senior year um, succeed after was also just a great memory. You bring up the Turkey Bowl. What was your fondest, your most amazing, happy memory above that game? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I, to pick a play, I guess probably um, our old offensive coordinator, who's now the head coach at uh, Fairfield Ludlow, Mitch Ross, he drew up just kind of in the sand a uh, play at halftime that uh, we opened up the half with that, that worked out well, uh, the, the post to John Reed. So that, that was awesome. But I think kind of going back to what I was talking about before, just like the locker room, the atmosphere, being on the field with all your teammates, your brothers, um, celebrating and seeing all the smiles on their faces, your coaches' faces, knowing that uh, all that hard work you put in, um, you know, from January the previous year to, to that moment really paid off. Um, so seeing everyone that you know and love um, and have played with for so long be happy was really probably the best memory. What is one tip that you can give to these kids before they step on that field Thursday morning? Um, you know, uh, there are so many cliche statements in football specific, specifically, um, but I do think just to enjoy the moment, just, um, you know, when you step in the locker room before the game, just take a deep breath. Remember what it smells like when you walk out onto the field. Just take a look at the crowd. You know, you're not there for them, but, you know, there are not many times in your life um, where you'll get to be, you know, uh, the center of attention like you are in that game, and there'll be so many people there for you to watch you play, you and your teammates play. So just to soak it all in, to remember what those moments feel like, and remember what it feels like, hopefully, for these guys after they win, uh, to remember what it feels like on that field celebrating with your brothers. Thank you. Now on to Timmy. Timmy, you had a pretty great season back-to-back -back years. You came out your final season as a senior. You won the state championship as well as the FCAC championship. Talk a little about that. Yeah, it was a, uh, it was a great uh, two years I had here, um, especially my senior year. Uh, I could do with all my best friends. Uh, we've been playing football since the third grade, coached by uh, Coach T since the third grade. So it was definitely uh, one of the greatest moments uh, coming out here our senior year. Uh, going on to feed it and winning a state championship for Darien. You're part of some big memories here in, in history, in that Turkey Bowl uh, history, I should say. What is one of your favorite moments in that game? Uh, my favorite moment, um, definitely the touchdown pass at the end to Hudson when he made that spectacular catch in the back of the end zone, but also uh, taking that final knee. Uh, huge sigh of relief knowing that, uh, especially my senior class, uh, we were part of four Turkey Bowls, so able to win four and take that final knee and look across the side and knowing that we did it was also a great experience. 
I asked Silas for this already. What is one tip you can give to this class, this team, before they step on the field Thursday morning? Um, definitely just embrace it all in. Uh, when you run out of that tunnel for the first time, you come back in from pregame warmups. It's not that many people out there, and then you're running out of the tunnel and you're just exposed to 10,000 player, 10,000 people in the stands. Especially my junior year when I ran out there for the first time, I was a little bit nervous, but you just got to take a deep breath and just enjoy the moment. Thanks, guys. Back to you, Damian, up there. Thanks, Brendan. So it's Darianne and New Canaan on Thanksgiving Day. Our friends at the HAN Network will be live streaming the game. Their broadcast goes green at 10 o'clock in the morning, and it should be a good one. For Brendan Ross, Ethan Haas, I'm Damian Andrew. Thanks for joining us. This has been a presentation of the Darianne Athletic Foundation. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.